ابراہیم بتا رائی تو صدیقی سو اور اس صدیقی مفلون بھی ہی منصوبن و علامت النسبی ہی فاتحتن و قدرتن علامہ قبلہ یا ای متقلم آر یو ایت می بدن سسٹر و ہوا مداف اندن یا متقلم مداف لئی وینور یو سی یا متقلم وی کن سی ہوا مداف یا متقلم مداف لئی ناو المحامیہ have you got فتح دیر if there is no فتح put a فتح دیر محامیہ you know the منکوس when it is منصوب then the فتح is visible put فتح دیر and highlight it also highlight the یا only so that you know this is what we are looking at so how will you say brothers and sisters مفولون بھی منصوبون والامت نس بھی فتحتون ظاہرہ ظاہرت ما شاء اللہ then مصطفیٰ what will you say مفولون بھی منصوبون والامت نس بھی فتحتون مقدر على آخره if you want to say it now سلمت على صدیقی now in this case brother and sister it is definitely کسرہ مقدرہ so صدیقی مجرورون بی علا و علامت جرہ کسرتن و قدرتن علا ما قبل یا خیل متقلم ما شاء اللہ Excellent, brother Abdul Mukim. Excellent. Are you with me, brother and sister? You will get used to it. And those words will smoothly flow from your uh, mouth, inshallah. And if some of you find it difficult, brothers and sisters, it's normal. I didn't get the first time, as you are getting, brother Abdul Mukim. I didn't get it. It took me a little while to, to, to say these things. So, brother and sister, don't worry. Keep on practicing. Keep on revising. And inshallah, one day, very soon, you'll be able to speak all these things very fluently, inshallah. So, do not get uh, gabrified. Huh? And do not get distressed if you can't say it right away today. Today, most important thing, Brother Hassan, is to understand, inshallah. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Salam to alal muhami. Okay, so ismun majrurun wa alamatu jarrihi kathratun mukatta ala akhirihi. Fine. Now, Mustafa, what will you say, brothers and sisters? Ismun majrurun wa alamatu jarrihi kathratun mukatta. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? Inshallah, no difficulty. Now, can you reflect? On this, where have we come in last three months? How we used to analyze before and how we are analyzing now? Alhamdulillah, it is grace and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, you know, slowly, slowly, the knowledge is now taking its root in our mind. And inshallah, brothers and sisters, if you will keep on working, by the end of book three, you will acquire enough knowledge of classical Arabic that you will be able to understand 85% to 90% of the Quran without the aid of translation. You will understand directly, inshallah. But it will require little extra practice because you have to build your vocabs now. What do you have to do? You have to build your vocabs, huh? inshallah. العلامات الاصلية والفرعية والظاهرة والمقدرة المرفو حضر ابناؤه قرد ايدي ابناؤه اسفائل والبنات والوالدان والاقربون وابراهيم واخوه وصديقي ومحامي ومصطفى Are you with me? These are all مرفو no, no, no. Make it a sukoon, brother. That's wrong. Yeah. File cannot have a fata. Mafulun bihi will have fata. So there is a typo. We have a problem. 
with some of uh, the typos, you know. They can really confuse us. Okay? So, muhami, there is a sukoon on ya. In fact, there should not be anything there. But if there is something, it should be sukoon. Then mansub, the autu, I invited. Abna'a. And then, banati. Now you understand it, brothers and sisters? Yeah. And walidaini, akrabina, Ibrahima, wa akahu, wa sadiki, muhami. Yeah, now highlight it, brother. Ya with fata, highlight it. Huh? So that you will know that in mankus, when it is mansub, fata becomes visible. Fata will become visible on the ya. Ya will also be there, visible, and the fata will also be visible, huh? inshallah. And Mustafa, you got it? Now Majroor, ittasaltu. Okay, brother and sister, what kind of verb is this? Ittasala. Fahmid, mashallah, mashallah, sister of Sah. May Allah increase you in knowledge. Huh? And all of us, mashallah, mashallah. Brothers and sisters, I do not want to embarrass Afsa. But you remember she came very late. The course had started. She joined us. I think we had gone past uh, uh, half of the book. We were in the three-fourths of the book and she came and joined us. And I told her, Sister Abza, you have to really work hard to catch up. And mashallah, mashallah, she worked very hard. And today her understanding is so very firm. Uh, she is an example, brother. What can a hard work produce in a student? Alhamdulillah. Uh, and she is the youngest member of our class. Mashallah. Uh, may Allah increase you in knowledge. Uh, and all of us, inshallah. <coughs> Keep on working, Sister Abza. You will become an excellent uh, teacher one day. And maybe you are still very young. She is only 16. Uh, and she will, inshallah, go for higher studies in Middle East, inshallah. And this knowledge will help her. Huh? Brothers and sisters, I tell everybody, do not go to Middle East like a Kora Kagas with a clean, clean sheet of paper. No. There you won't learn all these things. They will teach you, but you will find it very difficult and sometimes uh, you will not understand everything. I have got personal experience with people. I do not want to discuss all this thing now. But people who did not study here could not succeed there. They did not succeed. They came empty-handed. And those who study here, brothers and sisters, what do I tell them? Sister Mamuna, after you finish three Madina books, and then you go to Middle East, and when you start your studies, you are not walking. You are flying. Eh? Because you know everything. So whatever the ustad there, the professor, teaches you, you know it, what's going on. Huh? And you will enjoy it. And you will be most successful in your studies. So learning here, the basics, and then going to Middle East, is a very wise and prudent thing, inshallah. Huh? And take my advice seriously, brothers. This advice is, is very important. Huh? So, Sister Sumaya, when you'll go to Egypt with this knowledge, you'll be laughing there. And you'll be flying there, inshallah. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters, we did this. Tamarinu. Ayyin. Okay, what is ayyin? But ittasala, we forgot. Ittasala. Huh? She said form 8. Huh? No. Okay, brother, first tell me ittasala. Give me the root. Vasala. What is it? From vasala, it became ittasala. Okay, brother and sisters, let us conjugate. Huh? Ittasala, ittasala, ittasalu, ittasalat, ittasalata, ittasalna, ittasalna. And then 
इतसलता इतसल तुमा इतसल तुम इतसल ती इतसल तुमा इतसल तुन्ना इतसल तू एंड देन इतसल ना सो इट्स सो इजी बादम सिस्टर नो डिफिकल्टी इन कंजुगेशन नाउ नाउ दिस इज फेल मादी सो वेर इज द फेल इतसल विथ सुकून विथ सुकून इज द फेल वाई सुकून मबनी अला सुकून क्विक आंसर ब्रदर सिस्टर अफसा वाय दिस इज सुकून सिस्टर मदीना आई से फेल उन मादीन मबनी अला सुकून वाय मोतहारिक प्रोनाउन माशाला बिकॉज दिन द मोतहारिक प्रोनाउन कम्स सिस्टर मैनाज then the lam kalima gets a sukun remember so this is what we have to understand eh? that felun maden mabniun ala sukun ha huh? okay and then tu is a mutahharik pronoun there is still more explanation to this how to define it but i won't go in detail now huh? because let's concentrate on something which is important so whether itta sala b harf jar has to come are you with me highlight b you will always see b after itta sala itta sala itta sal to b means i contacted huh? i we contact something somebody by telephone huh? or by letter or in any way so itta sal to b means i contacted okay so b came brother and sisters so abnai normal banati normal signs brother and sisters al walidaini this is secondary sign huh? okay brother and sisters yeah and then al akra bina again secondary ibrahima secondary huh? huh? wa akhihi secondary Sadiqi, uh, no brother, Abdul Samad, dam kasratul mukhaddara, huh? and uh, Muhammi kasratul mukhaddara, Mustafa kasratul mukhaddara. You got the idea, brother and sisters? Huh? Okay, fine. Now ayin, brother, what is ayin? Fail amran. Huh? What is the proper fail? Ayana, you ayinu, ayin. Form two. Give me the bab. Tafail. Say bab, ah, inshallah. Bab tafail. Say it will help you later on in many, many beautiful ways. It will help you, brother. Ayin al muarab. Well, mabni fima yati. Specify. Ayin means specify. Huh? Specify Morab and Babni in what follows. Okay, brothers and sisters. Brother Abdul Samad, Kitabun. It is Morab or Babni. No, mind you, this is a new exercise. You will get a little confused. Huh? Kitabun. Morab. Huh, brother? Abdul Samad. Morab. Kitabun ban bin. One more for you, okay, brother Abdul Samad. Haza. This is uh, Mabni. Mabni, uh, brother Abdul Mukim. Hamidun. Muarab. Uh, brother uh, Farooq. Masajidu. Muarab. It is Muarab. Huwa. Mabni. Mabni. Salim Ana. Mabni. Sayaratun. Mabni. Tun. Mohab, brother. Mohab. Sister Nusrat, Allazi, Mabni. Amsi, Mabni, Mashallah, Mashallah. Al-Jamiya too, Sister Arifa. Mohab, Mashallah. Muslimani, Mohab. Muslimatun, Mohab. Hazani, Sister Nasreen, this is very important. Hazani, Mu'arab. Haza mabni, hazihi mabni, hazani mu'arab. Are you with me? Write down. If you are not sure, highlight it, circle it, 
give some signs hazaini hazaini musanna okay fine sister mainat al ana mabni sister sukhaina allatani marab ma sha allah so we can make mistake once then we become uh, alert and we don't repeat our mistake uh, inshallah uh, sister uh, uh, sister uh, naima man mabni ma sha allah uh, sister fatima allahu muarab allahu allah allahi muarab uh, sister uh, sumaya be very careful arbaata ashara Mabni, mashallah, mashallah. Arbatun, says Afsa. Muharram. See, now we, we come to the end of it, and there's only Sister Abir left. Sister Abir? Amin. Mabni. Huh? Amin is Mabni. Okay? Amin is Mabni. You know, uh, <coughs> with highlighter, you can highlight everything that is mabni. So then you can see the difference between the two. Okay, I'll repeat. Haza mabni, huwa mabni, ana mabni, allazi mabni, amsi mabni, alana mabni, man mabni, arbaata ashara mabni, and amin mabni. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now, we come to uh, Ma Alamatul Arabi Alasliati Fils. Okay, brother, what are they? If it is Marfu, then Dhamma. If it is Mansub, then Fatha. If it is Majroor, then Kasra. These are the original signs of ending. So, what will you say? Dhamma, Fata, and Kasra. Okay, brothers and sisters, what is the next one? Ma alamatu erabil fara'iyati fi filasma'il khamsati. What are they, brother? Iza kana marfu'an alfaw. Iza kana mansuban al alifu. Iza kana Majruran al huh? So you know this, inshallah. You'll remember this. Huh? Huh? Okay, fine. Wa ma alamatu e'rab al-fariyati fi jama mudhakar salim. Iza kana marfuan al-vaw. Iza kana mansuban al-jaw. Iza kana majruran al-jaw. Huh? Muthanna, brother. إذا كان مرفوعا الألف إذا كان منسوبا يا إذا كان مجرورا بس tell me isn't it halwa puri this is easy inshallah fine now ما علامة جري في الممنوع من السر what will you say هي فتحة what will you say? Hiya fatahatun badala kasrati. I will write down. Brothers and sisters, I will write down. Hiya fatahatun badala badala kasrati. Are you with me? This is the alamat of uh, jar when it is mamnum in sar. Huh? That's the idea, brothers and sisters. So it is fata instead of kasra. But you have to write down badala. Huh? And I'll explain you later on why it is badala. Ma alamatu nasbi fi jama muanna salim. You will say hiya kasratun, zahiratun, badala, fataha. Badala Fathati. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Hati Mithalan Lil Maksur. Maksur, brothers and sisters. 
وَجْعَلْهُ فِي ثَلَاثِ جُمَلٍ أَلَا أَنْ يَكُونَ مَرْفُوًا فِي الْأُولَى وَمَنْسُوبًا فِي الثَّانِيَ وَمَجْرُورًا فِي الثَّالِثَ Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, give three examples. In one, it is marfu, and then the second, it is mansu, and the third is. No. So, what will you say, brothers and sisters? Ja Mustafa, mashallah. And then, Raitu Mustafa, and Salam to Allah, Mustafa. Ja Mustafa. Ra'aytu Mustafa and Salamtu ala Mustafa. In all of these three, one is Marfu, Dhammatul Muqaddara, the second one is Mansub, Fatahatul Muqaddara, and the third one is Majroor, uh, Kasratul Muqaddara. Now, Hati Mithalan Lil Mankus. Now remember, Mankus. Ma'zuful ya'i, in which the ya is dropped. Are you with me? In three sentences. Uh, so, brother, what will you say? Ja'a qadin. Ra'aytu qadiyan. Ra'aytu qadiyan. And salamtu ala qadin. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? You'll be able to do it. Brothers and sisters, you have the key to refer to, and if you have still difficulty, then what do we have? Hallo Tamarin. We have, see, Dr. Saif has done so much for us, you know. He has provided us all the tools of learning. We just have to get up from our seat and learn, inshallah. Huh? Brothers and sisters, Hati Mithalan Lil Mudaf. Ila yai mutakal. Three sentences. Marfuan, filula, mansuban, fithania, and majruran, fithalif. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Did I skip one? I beg your pardon. Oh, okay. I skipped, I think, seventh one. Okay. Yes, brother. In this, it is uh, mankus, huh? in which the ya is there, present. Lil mankuth al thabiti al yai. Fine, brother. What will you say? Same thing. Ja al muhammad, or you can say ja al kadi. And what will you say? Al raitu al kadi, ya. Raitu al kadi, ya. Or raitu al muhami, ya. And then salam to alal. Kadi or salam to alal muhami. So that's all, brother. You have one with al in which ya becomes visible, and one is mazuful ya in which the ya is dropped. Clear, inshallah? But once we have a, a good understanding of uh, nakis, verbs, and how to make ism file from nakis, things become easy. Let me tell you one thing, brother. A lot of things will be repeated in book three. I believe it is lesson number three or lesson number four. We are learning some file again. And all these things will come. So you will just get more practice. And you will get stronger and stronger, inshallah. Huh? Okay, brother, give an example with Ya Mutakallam. Coming as a mudafilehi. What will you say, brothers and sisters? Ja a sadiki, raitu sadiki, and salam to Allah. But is there anything easier than this? This is very easy. This is very easy. Now comes your final test. Sister Arifa, now comes your final test, brothers and sisters. Arib. What is Arib? Fail Amar. Analyze. Huh? Do grammatical analysis. Ma tahtahu khatun. 
Okay, no more signs. So I will repeat and say it, brothers and sisters. Yohibbullahu. Yohibbu. Yohibbu. What kind of a verb is this? Maybe I should write down. Soon we will be doing all these things. Yohibbul. Allahu. The verb is Ahabba. This is form four. Bab Ifal. Bab Ifal. Ahabba Yohibbu. What is originally? Ahbaba. Okay? When, when the file is sakin, pronoun, then we have a idham. When the Because these are mudaf. When the file is mutaharik, we break the idham. Let us do it. Ahabba, ahabba, ahabbu, ahabbat, ahabbata, Ahbabna. You see? Our mind will say Ahbabna. Huh? See? Ahbabta tumatum ti tumatunna tuna. Yohibbu. Yohibbani. Yohibbuna. Tohibbu. Tohibbani. Yohibbna. Yohibbna. Again, Hunna and Antunna are the only places where the file is Mutaharik Damir, huh? remember that. Fine, brother and sister. Okay, the, the bracket is only on Mutaqeen, brother. If it is on Allah also, we can define Allah. How will you define Allah? Whenever you define Allah, you will write down something like this. Before you say anything. Huh? Before you define Allah, you will always say, Lafzul Jalalati, brother. Uh-uh. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? What will you write down after Allah? Huh? If you write down Allah, you write down like this. Okay, Allah, and then you'll say, Lafzul Jalalati, Fa'ilun, Marfu'un, Wa Alamatu, Rafa'ihi, Adam Zahir. Dammatun zahiratun. Fine, brother and sister. Now comes al muttaqin Mafaulun bihi mansubun wa alamatu nasbihi al yahu. Why? Liannahu. Mashallah, mashallah. Brother, your answers are so sweet. Your answers to me are sweeter than honey. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. May Allah bless you all. May Allah bless you all and increase you in knowledge. And increase all of us in knowledge. Can you see the difference now? Huh? But this is the way, when you will read the Quran, you won't sit down and analyze because Quran is to be understood and pondered over. But these things are at the back of your mind. When you study Quran, these things are at the back of your mind. When you say al mutaqina you know it is mansub. And you will also know what is the sign of its being mansub. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. Khalaq Allahu samawati wal arda. What will you say now, brother? Samawati. Mafulun bihi mansubun wa alamatu nasbihi Kasratun. Kasratun zahiratun. Why bother kasra? Liannahu jama muannas salim. Brother and sister, try to write it. After writing it, check your answers with halo tamari. I'm not writing on board. It will take too much time. Mashallah, you can say it, brother. Wow is harfu atfin. And al arda mautufun ala samawati. Mansubun. Wa alamatu nasbihi al fatahatu zahira. Fine, brother. Ifta, faqa. Ifta, what is ifta? Fil umrin mabniun ala sukun. Where is the file? 
mustatir takdiruhu anta. Who will say this sentence? The doctor, the dentist. <laughs> the dentist or the doctor will say. Faka, brother, be very careful and listen to me very carefully. Fa. There are, how many words are there? Two words. Huh? Mudaf, mudaf ilayhi. So fa. Mafulun bihi mansubun wa alamatu nasbihi al alifu li annahu min al asmail khamsa wa huwa mudaf. And how will you describe ka? Uh, you have never tried it. You have never attempted. But let us see it. I'm going to say it. Inshallah, you'll understand. What is ka? Damirun Muttasilun Mabniyun ala Fata Ka Mabniyun ala Fata And if it is Mabni for what will you say? Fi mahalli Jarrin Mudafun ilayhi I'll repeat one more time Are you with me? Inshallah I'll be repeating these things And it will inshallah Get firm hold in your you know, mine, inshallah. Ka. Sister Arifa. Damirun. Muttasilun. Mabniyun. Ala. Fata. Ala al Fata. And then, because it is Mabni, then I have to say, Fi Mahalli. Is it Marfu? Mansub? Majroor. Majroor. This Damir can only be Mansub and Majroor. It can never be Marfu. Because the marfu form of ka is anta. And ka form of the damir is only mansub or majru. Huh? Because it can come as a mafulun bihi or it can come as a mudafilahi. Are you with me? Or is some majru? Okay. So, brothers and sisters, I will say ka damirun muttasilun mabniun ala fata fi mahalli jarrin. Mudafun ilayhi. Got the idea, brother and sister? Alhamdulillah. Aina sayaratu abi ka. How you can say ki if you want to? Brother, abi. What is it? Abi. Mudafun ilayhi majroon. Wa alamatu jarrihi al yaw. Li annahu min al asma'il khamsa. And again the ka came same. Damirun, Mutasilun, Mabniun ala fata fi mahalli jarrin mudafun ilayhi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine, brother. Hafiz tu suratayni. Fine, brother, suratayni. Hafiz tu, I memorized. Memorized what? Suratayni. So, brothers and sisters, Mafulun bihi mansubun. Wa alamatu nasbihi al-yaw. Li'annahu musanna. Masha'Allah. Masha'Allah. Alhamdulillah, brother. I'm going to enjoy my lunch very much today. Your answers are so sweet, Masha'Allah. Masha'Allah. A'arifu. I know. Know what? Qadiyya. Has to be Qadiyya, brother. Has to be Qadiyya. Because it is Mafulun bi. But Qadiyya, in my old book, the underline is only on Makkah. In my old book, the underline is only on Makkah. You have to define Makkah. But in this book, I see. But Qadiyya is very simple. What is Qadiyya? Mafulun bihi, Mansubun, Walamatu, Nasbihi, Fatatun Zahira. Okay, it is mudaf. Makkata. Mudafun ilayhi majroorun. Are you with me? Wa alamatu jarrihi affathatu zahiratu. Li annahu mamnum nasa. You will say, why? Instead of kasra, it got a fatah because it is mamnum nasa. Very good, brother and sisters. Kharajal Jarha. Do you see the beauty of Dr. Abdurrahim's book, brothers and sisters? Everything that he taught us in these pages, now we have to practice. And he brings in beautiful sentences, huh? which has everything that has been taught before. 
Harajal Jarha. What is the meaning of Jarha? Wounded. Wounded. Huh? Person who got wounded. Jarha, brother. Haraja. Felun Madin Mabnun Ala Fata. So what is Jarha? Failun Marfuun Wa Alamatu Rafaihi Dammatun Makaddara. What kind of a word is Jarha? Maksur. Maksur. Huh? Because Aleph is at the end. Maksur, brother. Remember Mankus and Maksur? It's easy to get confused and say one thing for the other. And it is normal. So don't worry. But it is Maksur. Fine. Minal Mustashfa. The whole sentence is attempting for defining Maksur. Maksur. Huh? Minal Mustashfa. So Min has come. Harfjar. What is Mustashfa? Minal mustashfa, min harfu jar. Okay. And there is even description of min also. How do you define min? But I'm not going to do it now. Otherwise, it will become too much. Let's concentrate on what Dr. Sahib is asking us to do. Mustashfa, ismun majrurun wa alamatu jarrihi kasratun mukaddaratun ala akhirihi. Fine, brother and sister. Akhada sadiki. Akhada is fail. What is sadiki? File. So what will you describe? How will you describe? Uh, sadiki. Failun. Marfun. Wa alamatu rafihi. Dammatun. Mukaddara. Ma. Alama. Kabla. Ya'il. Mutakallim. Wa huwa muda. Alama. Kabla. Ya'il. Mutakallim. Before the Yamuta Kalim, there is a Dhamma Mukaddara. Got the idea? Kitabi. He took, took what? My book. Okay, brother. Okay, what will you say about Ya? Yeah. But you got to define Ya. Says the Arifa. Damirun. Mottasilun. Mabniun ala. Sukho. What is on Ya Mutakalim? Sukun. What will you say? Damirun Mutasilun Mabniun ala Sukun Fi Mahali Jarrin Mudafilehi. Got the idea? Okay. We'll repeat again, inshallah, in the next uh, word. Kitabi. So, brother, what is Kitabi? Mafulun bihi. So, we will say. Kitabi mafulun bihi mansubun wa alamatu nasbihi fatahatun mukaddaratun alama kabla yail mutakali. Wa huwa muda. And then ya again. Damirun mutasilun mabniun ala sukun fi mahali jarrin mudafun ilahi. Card the idea, brother and sister. Can you imagine? You are doing in detail now? Alhamdulillah, brother. This is quite an achievement. This is quite an achievement, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Min Harfjar Hakibati. So, Hakibati is Ism Majroor. Okay, so how will you describe Hakibati? Ismun Majroorun. Wa alamat tu jarrihi kasratun mukaddaratun alama kabla ya'il mutakallim. And wa huwa mudaf and ya mutakallim. Damirun mutasilun mabniun ala sukun fi mahali jarrin mudafin ilihi. Ishtaraitu haza. How do you define ishtara? Ishtaraitu. Ishtarai. Fiel to file haza mafulun bihi. How will you describe haza? Just for the fun of it. Haza. Huh? Listen to me, brother and sister. Haza. Ismu ishara. Huh? Haza. Ismu ishara. Mabni unala. Sukun. Now it is mabni, so we will say. Fi mahalli nasbin mafulun bihi. Are you with me? Huh? Try this way, huh, brother and sister. Haza, ismu ishara, mabniun ala sukun, 
fi mahalli nasbin mafulun bihi ya inshallah but hasan i'm sure you'll master it ha inshallah and you know right now even understanding the whole thing is is a is a quite an accomplishment brother and brother b harf jar so what is khamsa this is ismun murakkabun murakkab it is a compound huh? or you can say adadun murakkabun it's a compound number are you with me adadun you can say or ismun murakkabun huh? let me write down brothers and sisters adadun murak kabun or you can say ismun murak kabun okay brother and sister murak kabun mu has come murak kabun fine is a maful give me the verb now say it properly say it properly rakkaba ha <laughs> sister mainas rakkaba yurakkibu and then murakkib and murakkab got the idea ha ma sha allah ma sha allah form 2 bab tafil make master make master you will laugh tarkib you know that word it's used in urdu tarkib are you see see how it is we can connect it we go to the verb to the fi'l to the form of the fi'l alhamdulillah so you will say ismun murakkabun mabniyun ala fatha it is mabniyun ala fatha fi mahalli jarr في المحل جر got the idea b has come so it is fi mahal jar it is a majrur now uh, also see how dr saheb has described in hello tamari just to see because his explanation will be more precise now let me tell you something brothers and sisters when i was studying 10 years ago madina books brother we used to study from photocopies we didn't not have did not even have the original books the original books are coming since last 6 years we had only photocopies so one photocopy you keep on making more photocopies do you think we had a key no brother we had nothing do you think we had hello tamarin no nothing when dr saab you know i started uh, uh speaking to him uh and then we remained in touch and then when doctor sahab wrote the key he sent me the uh copy of it and when i saw the copy of book 3 key what happened to me i jumped with a joy and i hit the ceiling you know <laughs> i was so excited i said ya allah this is so beautiful huh honestly i'm say, saying i jumped with joy that i had never seen such a beautiful thing now it made things very easy and after that we requested dr saab to write hello tamari so that you know uh, people who are studying at home they can check their answers so alhamdulillah everything is there with you and now dr saab is writing uh, a juz rabiu fourth fourth section of madina books what will it contain do you know quran the various verses of the quran maybe 30 maybe 40 maybe more i don't know as much dr saab can write he is writing now and then he will analyze it and we will learn the method of his analysis and then he will describe in detail so many things that some of them are 
uh, not in our lessons. So I am anxiously waiting for it, brothers and sisters. Inshallah, Dr. Sam will come to visit Canada in October. You will all be graduated by that time. You will receive certificate, plus you will receive that book also, Inshallah.